EAA 304, Highway Engineering Laboratory. Marshall Stability Test. Welcome to Highway Engineering Laboratory. This video describes step by step procedures to conduct Marshall Stability Test for Asphalt Mix. The Marshall Stability Test is conducted using BS 594 Part 1, Standard Test Method for Marshall Stability and Flow of Bituminous Mixtures. There are three basic components in this test. First, preparation of bulk mix of aggregate sample, based on the selected gradation. Second, mixing hot mix asphalt in the laboratory, according to standard procedures. Third, determination of Marshall stability and flow values, using Marshall stability test apparatus. The stability and flow values are required for Marshall mix design. Marshall stability is related to the resistance of bituminous materials, to distortion, displacement, rutting, and shearing stresses. The stability is derived mainly from internal friction and cohesion. Internal friction explains the interlocking and frictional resistance of aggregates, while cohesion is related to the binding force of binder material. Therefore, good stability and flow, are essential for bituminous materials. The stability of the mix is defined as a maximum load carried by a compacted specimen, under a loading rate of 50.8 mm per minute, at 60 degrees Celsius test temperature. The flow is measured with 0.25 mm increments by an attached dial gauge, until the maximum load carried by the specimen during stability test. Objective To prepare a design mixture that meets the required specifications. The Marshall Stability Test requires the following apparatus. Marshall Testing Machine Marshall Testing Rig Marshall Compactor Asphalt mixer. Water bath with constant temperature. Mold. Balance. Extrusion jack. An oven. Procedure. For bulk mixture preparation, measure the amount of aggregate and filler to be used in order to meet the specification limit. About 1,200 grams of blended aggregate, sand and filler is prepared in a container to produce a Marshall specimen. Oven dried the aggregate at 150 degrees Celsius for at least four hours. Heat the asphalt at the same temperature, or at mixing temperature, which is about 140 degrees Celsius. Place the heated aggregate into the mixer, and blend dry for 1 to 2 minutes. Add appropriate amount of asphalt, based on the percentage of total mix weight, and continue the mixing process. Before compaction, ensure the ready bulk mix temperature for compaction is equal, or more than 137 degrees Celsius. The mold, scoop and spatula must be preheated as well. Use the scoop to transfer the asphalt mix into the mold.
Next, use the heated spatula, to rod the mix vigorously 15 times around the perimeter of the mold, and 5 times over the interior. This process ensures a smoother specimen, and eliminate any bridging of the rock. Compact the mix carefully using the Marshall compactor, for the proper number of blows as specified in the mix design. Reverse and reassemble the ball, and apply the same number of blows to the face of the reversed asphalt mix. Use an extruder, to remove each specimen by jacking the specimen up through the hole, keeping the specimen as perpendicular as possible, so that the specimen is not distorted. <laughs> Measure the specimen height, and weight it in air and water. Determine the specimen density. Heat the specimens in a water bath, to a temperature of 60 degrees Celsius, for 30 to 40 minutes. Place the specimen in the Marshall testing rig. Load the specimen racially at a constant rate of strain of 50.8 mm per minute. A trace relating strength and deformation, is automatically recorded on a graph paper. Determine the stability of each specimen, as the maximum load, that the specimen could withstand. Apply correction to the stability values if required.
read also the deformation at failure, and report this value as the flow in millimeter. Thank you for your time. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to contact us at sarg.usm2011 at gmail.com.